Hi, this is DJ with Social Media Traffic Consultants, and this video is how to play a YouTube video from any web page. We're going to give a short, quick demonstration, a quick and dirty on how to take YouTube video and drop it into a web page, and we'll be using WordPress to do that. In this modern world of video enabled a Web 2.0, it doesn't make sense to host all of your own videos. So as long as it's not a critical video, you can certainly do this from YouTube or any other site that allows you to embed it. In this case, we'll demonstrate YouTube. If your video is something that is um, that does need to play all the time, needs to ha always play without fail, then I encourage you to host it in a vendor where you have a leased agreement. But for most cases, YouTube is fine. Okay, let's begin. First, you have to locate the video online or copy the URL if it's been provided to you. In this case, that's what we're going to do. looks like this. Usually it's a different color in your browser. We're going to copy that guy. And if you have a URL address as we do, we're going to paste it into a browser and touch enter or click go depending on what browser you're using. In this case we're using Firefox but it works the same with IE. We're going to hit enter and upload the video. I want to make it quiet so we don't have to listen. This is a transition video we use to put on a customer's web page and marketing. And let's take a look here. Now, on the share button at the bottom of the video. Once we do that, we'll notice that an embed button will pop up. So we're going to do both of those at one time. Sort of runs together. Let's scroll up a little bit so we can focus on that. See, there's a share button. And until you click on that, a lot of times you don't see the other buttons. Here's the embed button. So we click on that. And we see all the embed tools come up. We're going to select the size of the video we want to play, and we're going to copy the embed code. Also, just to stop real quick, if this is checked, that will allow the video to play related videos after yours. If you're going to put this somewhere where you're promoting yourself, your business, or a particular theme, I would encourage you to uncheck that. Okay, in this case, we're going to use the old embed code. I like to use that. It's real straightforward. We can pick different sizes, or we can pick our own. In this case, I'm going to do 400. And if you notice, it automatically sets the height. It will keep the ratio the same, so you don't have a squeezed video. Once we do that, if we click up here, it will automatically highlight the text. We can right mouse and say copy, or we can do control C, whatever your preference is. Now we want to open the program we're going to play the video in. In this case, we're going to do it in a WordPress site. And I've already logged in as a page. I made a sample page right here. This is my YouTube video. This is my video, and we're going to drop it right here in the middle. One of the important parts is to click on this button over here, HTML. Not the visual HTML, because otherwise it won't work. You notice that changes the screen. We can type in whatever text we want. Once we do that, we can go back to the visual mode, move it around, clean the area up if we want. And again, make sure to switch the HTML mode and paste the embed code, which is what we did. Now we're going to test the page. We're going to save it and test it. Always important to test everything before you send a link out to anybody. No one likes to be embarrassed. You want it to work well. So we saved it, and in WordPress and the admin, you can also view the page. Or you can go to the live site. And there it is. We dropped it in. This is actually the title of the page uh, in this particular setting. We could have moved this in the middle. We could have drawn boxes. But in this case, I wanted to do just a quick and dirty. And it's now playing. So that's it. That is the quick and dirty about how to take a YouTube video or really any other video that, you can, that you're allowed to do embedded code, copy it and drop it into a web page. Works the same way with standard HTML, but in this case I use WordPress because a lot of people are using WordPress these days with all the great themes. I hope that helps you and your business. Have a great day. For more tips and tricks on how to do things easy and get found on the internet, please visit socialmediatrafficconsultants.com.